good evening. For the difference from last week, this one was action-packed with all kinds of activities regarding E3 and British and Irish Lions South Africa Tour. As we are gaming for me 3 was the main theme this week of course. Well, I've prepared a special scene for this occasion as well so you would be able to feel the spirit of Lions and the gaming E3 events. Here we go with some highlights first. 11th Doctor's new assistant revealed. Ray Design Forum. New E3 Banner. E3 Coverage. British and Irish Lions Tour. Updates. E3 Trailers. Let's begin. We are bringing the news on our forum about who will be 11th Doctor Say assistant in the fifth season of the Doctor Who series which is coming to small screens next year. The announcement is quite a surprising one as one more before unfamiliar face will come to a scene alongside Matt Smith. This will be Karen Gillian. Read the whole press release in Doctor Who section of our forum. Now we have 380 members on our forum. The last member named himself or herself a mysterious guest. I would just hope he or she won't stay only this mysterious guest, but rather participate in the discussions and activities on our forum. Welcome among us though. With returning the rest of the staff we encountered a slight changes on our forum. You can see the layout of the topics and forums is a bit different and there also you probably noticed that LEGO forum joined the off-topic zone instead of being its separate forum. This change was announced long ago and now it came to reality. We have to admit that there was not much LEGO discussion lately and despite we all are LEGO fans as well, games gaming and Doctor Who are more the subject of discussion. However, if your LEGO fun don't hesitate and join us as well. You're warmly welcome. E3 was about to begin when we got a new banner for this occasion. It's much different from the last years and it's great again. During the whole E3 event we updated the things almost live on our forum and you were able to discuss the various things. Some games we wanted were announced and some were not. The event is over, but you are still welcome to discuss all happenings there on our forum in E3 topic and gaming section. New topic of the week was E3 conference of course. We had a lot of reports, updates, articles and all kinds of other things. In the topic you still can discuss everything related to E3. We had the full coverage of the Microsoft press conference on E3. Generally the conference was a mixture of average performance in which we liked some things and some we didn't. Go and see the full coverage of it in our gaming section of our forum. The next press conference we covered was Nintendo press conference which was absolutely much better than Microsoft's let me be excused for this and announced more big releases which we hoped will be announced. Here we could hear about Mario Galaxy 2, Conduit 2, Final Fantasy, Zelda and more. According to our head admin who covered the conference as he did Microsoft's too, the conference was much much better than last year and reading the things I could not agree more with this. So far Nintendo did a great job, but we surely hoped more will come afterwards. And the third conference TR was covering was Sony's one. Two hours and ten minutes long conference was by the quality somewhere in between Microsoft and Nintendo, but we all agree it could be a bit shorter. Now PSP Go was announced plus quite some games and more. Go and read the full coverage of this conference is also the other two as well. Of course we still follow British and Irish Lions on their South Africa tour. Quite some changes were made in the playing squad after Saturday's game. The Wednesday game was even better as they won Golden Lions with 74 v 10. 
And then, just before closing the redaction we've got the score of the third match. Victory again this time quite tiny this time though, but victory after all. Lions won against Free State Cheetahs 26 v 24. The discussion about the match is going on on our forum of course and you're welcome to join us in it. In gaming section under gaming consoles we also are announcing that Super Mario Galaxy 2 is about to come out. Super Mario Galaxy was a success so we don't doubt this one will be as well. We hardly wait for it. In our gaming news section we bring the news from CVG that Zelda 4 Wii was confirmed to be in deep development. The news was revealed on the invite-only press conference on which Miyamoto revealed some details and even the game's artwork was shown. Read the whole news in our gaming news section of our forum. Three days of countdowning to E3 remained counting in Sunday since our staff returned and these three days were massively covered on our forum and also on our site. The fifth article is kind of prediction of what some major gaming companies will announce and reveal on the expo this year. Read the article and find out if our crystal ball predicted the announcements right or not. Enjoy reading the article and also all 40s in E3 blog. Unfortunately you are not able to access the article through our site anymore, but its links still exist on Home Harbor for you to enjoy the reading though E3 event is already over. The week of absence of major part of our staff was successful though. Everything what was set for me to do was done too. We had one article and for E3 blog days. You could count down to E3 with special counter we've set though it was a bit wrong at first. And we also had all updates set for discussion on our forum. On Wednesday we finally got new editorial written by Ta only on our site. Well it was delayed because of E3 madness which was going on our site and forums. We covered everything and that's exactly what it was promised in the newest editorial though. Go and read it. We also posted in news box about what we will cover during E3 and where to find all these things. Hopefully you follow the directions and read all the things we posted on our forum. As it should be, we concluded E3 happenings on our site and forums with two articles in which we give you analysis of two trailers of which one we've broadcasted on our TV. The first is Metroid Other M and the second is Super Mario Galaxy 2. Go and read our trailer analysis. It's interesting, you'll see. At the beginning of this week on our TV we also could see E3 updates with four trailers, Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing, The Conduit, Rabbids Go Home and the first trailer of LEGO Rock Band. These games we expected to be revealed on a conference and they were. Then, on the second day of the E3 5 more followed, The Beatles Rock Band, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Golden Sun 3, Sin and Punishment 2 and Endless Ocean. I have to admit I love Endless Ocean the most. On Thursday a new one was broadcasted on our TV this time Metroid Another M. Wild and exciting game this should be which is announced to come out in 2010. You could follow E3 happenings on our Twitter also though not so intensively. And last week my Twitter was also updated with the articles in our E3 blog on our site. I hope it brought some readers to our site as well. Also now you are able to see my Twitter updates on Home Harbor as well. This was all for tonight. Congrats to British and Irish Lions for achieved last two victories from Nainui as well. Hopefully we'll be able to report about Lions new victories next week too. We'll be back next Saturday with fresh news again. In the meantime you are warmly invited to join us on our forum in the discussion, to watch our TV and read our articles on our site. Good night from Nightghost and Nainui staff.